Well, hello, this is Scott. Welcome back to Cabin Creek Homestead. I'm here today in our pig pen. Uh, this is pretty nasty. That's why we make all the jokes about my kids' rooms looking like a pigsty, is because pig pens are supposed to be kind of nasty, but they don't have to be this nasty. So today's video is about kind of renovating our pig pen. Um, now, if you don't remember the videos when we got these two guys or these two girls, you can go back and look it. I'll try to link it uh, here in the in the description. Um, but these are rescue pigs. So they were being kind of terrorized and mistreated uh, somewhere here locally. We don't exactly know by whom or what the situation was, but they had been abandoned and they were getting into people's gardens and houses. And so, of course, uh, someone knew my wife. They called Christine, who has a heart of gold. And they basically said, there's nowhere for these pigs to go. Uh, they called the animal control, the pound, whatever, and they were like, nah, we don't take livestock. So they ended up coming to our farm, and actually we we love them. They're one of my favorite animals here on the farm. Um, they're not being raised for to take them to the market to sell for meat. They're not being raised for us to butcher to eat ourselves. We're just trying to provide them a home and kind of a fun place to live out the rest of their lives. Now, um, Romina, which is the big one, I'll show you, I'll get you a close up of her here in a minute. Actually, I might can do it right now. One thing about pigs, or th these pigs, by the way, a lot of other YouTube videos, they show pigs and the farmers will come up and like pet them and they sit in their laps and all this kind of stuff. Well, because these pigs were rescued and were mistreated, they were very skittish or they are very skittish. So as I get anywhere near them, they get really skittish, see? I mean, if I if they think I have some food, um, they may run up to me. But this one is Romina. She's the big one. She's probably over 200 pounds. She was pregnant when we got her. And she was definitely over 200 pounds then. But she's a big old girl. And this is Romina. Romina is not related. She was a separate from a separate family. But she's a little, little smaller, but still well over 100 pounds. All right, so as I said, these pigs are not for butchering. They're not for us to eat for slaughter or anything like that. Uh, they're just kind of pets, if you will. We want to give them a nice, uh, happy place to live out the rest of their lives. And they're a big part of farm camp. Farm camp is something that Christine does every summer with kids. And they have a pig day uh, where they come. At least it's part of camp. You know, they, they see the pigs. It's a fun element for the kids. So, uh, however, we've kind of neglected this pig pen. It's not awful, but... It is, it is in desperate need of a makeover. So uh, what I'm going to do today in this video is I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to make the renovations kind of with you in the video. And I'll explain what I'm doing as I go. So the first thing I need to do is I need to clean this place out. There's old... Okay, so we were told, by the way, that these little, um, little uh, kiddie pools make good waterers for pigs. And they do in a sense, but they don't in a sense because the pigs like to step in them. They like to wallow in it. They, it's like stagnant water that just sits there. It's uncovered. And so it's really not a good situation. So I've got a whole new watering system we're going to put in later in the video. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean out all this junk. <clears throat> and then the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build a shelter for these pigs. So pigs need a shelter. You may not think that. You may think they're wild. They don't need a shelter. But they actually prefer and really like it. And they're healthier when they have a place to go from the elements, to get away from the elements. So if it's, so if it's heavy rain or wind or really cold or snow or something like that. They actually prefer kind of a place in the corner uh, covered that can be a little bit warmer and can be out of the elements. So we don't really have that in this pig pen. Now, the reason why we put the pig pen at this part of the property is because of this nice tree. So the tree does hang over the pig pen. It has provided some shelter for them. However, we need to give them an upgrade and to actually provide them with a a full uh, nice shelter but it is a pig pen so it doesn't have to be fancy so I'm gonna use just some 4x4 four four posts that I had laying around the farm and some old 4x8 uh, OSB plywood that I had from a previous project that we ended up ripping up and so it's just been laying around the farm so I'm gonna be using that just to build a little it's kind of almost like a lean-to if you will but it's gonna have four sides to protect from the wind and the elements and things like that. And it's gonna go in the corner, uh, right there, kind of in that rectangle in the corner. So <clears throat> that's the first thing they need is shelter. So I'm gonna 
go ahead and start get going on that. Okay, now I got it cleaned out and I took a rake and kind of raked it and leveled it out a little bit. And now I'm gonna take some fill dirt. We had a spot over by where we dug out our pool uh, to put the pool that we had some fill dirt left over. I'm gonna bring that in uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of put that where the shelter, where the, where the ground is gonna be as kind of a ground cover because you want it to be at least a little bit dry. You don't want it to be like where you smush in completely uh, and it'll dry out over time. You know as it's uh, protected from the elements but i'm gonna bring in just one little layer of fill dirt and then i'm probably gonna put some some hay or some straw on top of it as just kind of an additional layer and then like i said i'm gonna put the um four by eight osbs kind of to make and i'm gonna make it sloped so the rain doesn't just drop straight down it kind of funnels off into the back so that's what i'm gonna do now They're enjoying the grass on top of that dirt. So as you can see, I got the four by four in and it's not cemented in or anything. It's just there. Cause again, I don't think they're gonna run into it much. They're just gonna, cause I'm gonna make a little door, but you just got it sitting in there like that. And then of course I've got my, my trusty Matabo uh, brushless battery powered nail gun. Anytime I can use my tools, I love to use them. Let me, let me turn this thing on real quick. All right, it's on. Boom. Boom. Love this thing. Love it, love it, love it. Go over here. Do a couple in here. Now the bottom, the bottom is not all the way in, so I don't, I mean all the way over, so I probably can't do the bottom, so I'm going to do another one right here, just for fun, and then I'll come do this side. All right, I got to put this down now. Now, as you can see, it's a sweaty project. So I got the back and I got the front with the door. Now I'm gonna uh, just take uh, one of these OSBs, four by eight, cut it in half fat ways and put my two ends and then put one for the, for the roof. We're good to go.
All right, <clears throat> the shelter is officially done. You can see it right there. It looks pretty good. The pigs are enjoying it. Uh, now, it's a, you may look at it and think, well, it's not professional or whatever, but you got to understand, I'm operating under a budget here. And so I'm using stuff that you found around the, found around the farm, right? So these are just extra OSBs I had. These are extra 2x4s I had extra four by fours these are just kind of extra things i had laying around but you can see the pigs like it and it's definitely going to serve the purpose now i've got some hay over there that the horses have kind of eaten down and then now it's kind of like some bedding i'm gonna go get that in a um in our gorilla cart and put it in there just for some soft bedding so they're not uh stomping all in the mud so that's going to be next All right, now that we got the shelter done, which is really one of the most important things that a pig pen needs, the shelter's done. The next thing we're gonna worry about is water. Now, as I said earlier, uh, folks had told us that little kiddie pools would be good, and it's been good, I guess, for a while, but it smells really bad out here, and there's all kinds of bugs, and the water's brown and dirty, and it's just nasty. So we're gonna redo, while we're doing a pig pen renovation, we're gonna redo the water as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, use a 32-gallon trash can uh, and use these nipple drinkers, which is what I got from Tractor Supply. This is what a lot of people use online. It says it's ideal for all stages of pigs. They have different sizes. So I got a half inch. I got two of these. And this was the key for me. It's getting one of these. This is the, a step drill bit. A step drill bit. These things are amazing. And so what it does is it basically provides a perforated hole when you um, when you drill it in and so you don't get leakage right because it comes with this little rubber um, round ring and then this is where the water seeps through and then the way this works is when they see how it moves so they press down on it and the water gushes out and then they let go and the water stops so what you do is you screw this in actually use the drill bit which i've got right here and they're measured i don't know if you can see this seven seven eighths 13 uh 13 16 three fourths five eighths so we have half inch so we need to go to half inch so that's how how far you know in to go all right so here's my 32 gallon trash can so i'm just going to put them not on opposite sides because i only have two pigs if i had less than two i mean if i had more than two i'd put multiple around i'm only going to put two and I'm gonna put them uh, kind of, kind of next to each other, but not not incredibly close to each other. I'm gonna try to turn this down so you can see see what I'm doing here. There you go. All right. So like I said, um, let's see. Our pigs are pretty big. I'm gonna put it about right here, about six inches up. Okay. Now, if you don't know, if you're kind of nervous about this, which I was at first, you should practice on like a bucket, like a broken bucket, which I did. I practiced on a tractor supply broken bucket, and it, it, these things work amazing. So you always, you always can drill more if you want to. So I would suggest going small. See, I didn't go big enough. So I would, I would suggest going small at first. And the good thing is you can kind of feel it clicking. So as it goes down the steps, that's why it's called a step drill, or a step drill bit. All right, and once you get it in, you want to get it tight. Now, if you want to, or if you need to, you can use a pair of pliers, because you, you want it to be tight. You want it to be tight so it doesn't leak. Yeah, and keep in mind when you're done, keep in mind when you're done, You want it to be up, upright like this. So when the pig bats on it like that, okay? But that's it. Pretty easy, huh? Alrighty. So check it out. It is. It's done. You can see it. Got the two nipple waterers there. Now something else about pig or water watering pigs. I got these T posts in that's holding this trash can in place. 
because you know if anybody has been raising pigs you know they like to destroy things and knock things over well this they can't they can't knock it over they can't run into it now also another tip put it next to a fence where you're going to feed our kids do a lot of our chores they fill water troughs so all they've got to do is come take the lid off fill it up put the lid back on and the pigs have clean water that won't be contaminated with things like that and it won't just come spilling out because it has the the little backflow protector so all right so as you can see we got water filling up our feeder and now if you notice that seems to work really well because water is not leaking out anywhere and so what the pig does is he he or she puts down on that see and the water comes out and then they can drink it now you may be wondering how oh, you may be wondering how uh, do you train the pig to drink out of that? Because, you know, especially our pigs, they've been here for over a year drinking other ways. So how do you train them? Well, I, I looked up on the YouTubes and a lot of people said a lot of different things. But one guy said peanut butter. Dun, da, da, da. So this is a plug for Peter Pan. <laughs> Product placement right here. Peter Pan. <laughs> sponsor Crunch, us. Crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> you you want to sponsor Peter Pan? So I'm going to use my I'm going to do the Joey Tribbiani, the, the two finger method. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I'm going I'm to knock it down a little. So they said put peanut butter around, just all around it, and they will find the peanut butter because it smells. Get them. They will find, come around this side. They'll find the peanut butter, and then they will realize that there's water coming out as they eat it. So we shall see. Nice. We shall see. Very cool. They've got a good little setup in here. And I didn't even know that Scott was doing this today. Wait, are you going to find it? Are you going to? Hey, that was quick. Look at the water coming out. Isn't that good? I can see it. Is it good, Romina? Is it too low? No. Nah. You sure? Uh-uh. No, nah, it looks good. Okay, now. So, we've got their shelter. Here they come to play. Look. Hey, you see the food? Yeah. This is the closest they've ever gotten to me without... It's because they smell the food. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh. Okay, so here's the thing. All right, so we have their shelter, which is important, and we have their water set up, which is important. Well, now we got to get their food set up. Now, most pigs that I ever grew up with just ate table scraps, but that's not the most. That's not the healthiest thing for them. So we're. I mean, it. You know, they can be healthy, but it's good to to mix it in with some real food, some real pig food, if you will. Purina does a good job of mixing their food to make it um, the healthiest it can be for pigs. Now, this is grower finisher feed, which means it is for all, this is for pigs that are really, really large, and you're trying to get them up to weight, which weight is about 250 pounds. That means that they're, they're ready to be butchered, they're ready to be taken to market, you know, things like that. Now, I said earlier, we're not doing that with our pigs, so I'm not worried about getting them up to 250 pounds for that reason, but I do want them to be healthy. I do want them to be happy. And, you know, a fat pig is usually a happy pig. So it's, it's not that our pigs are skinny, but they could use some some good feed. So the other kind, I think it's called sow and sow and cow or sow and sow and something pig feed. Um, it is for medium sized pigs uh, or maybe even piglets. But this is the stuff for it says a complete wholesome plant based nutrition for pigs 100 to 250 pounds. So you're trying to get them to 250 pounds. Now, Romina is probably about 150. I mean, yeah, Romina, no, Ellie. Yeah, Romina is about 150. Ellie's about 100. So this is what they need. So I bought these buckets. Now, again, we used to use those rubber um, round tubs. But again, the pigs will step on one side and the food goes flying into the mud and it's disgusting. So we're not going to use that anymore. I'm going to use these guys, which clip on the fence. You can just see they clip like this. They clip on the fence. The pigs can eat it and they won't step in it. So I'm going to fill, I have two of these. I'm going to fill two of these up 
with this food. And then I'm going to video the pigs eating it, make sure they like it, which I'm sure they will. But I want to make sure, but that'll be how we set up their food. I know, you guys are hungry. It looks like they're loving it. Looks like it's a hit. All right. So let's see here. There is our new renovated pig pen. We've got the water set up, ready to go. We've got their new feed buckets with their healthy feed. We've got their shelter with nice comfy hay in it. I think it looks good to go. All right, well, that was our project for today. It was a long one, it was a hot one, but we got it done. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.